Hello and welcome to Big Red Journeys. I'm your host Big Red and plot twist for today because we're here at Legoland California originally for the Ninjago weekend but as you can see the sky is gray it's been raining so we decided to make lemonade out of lemons and I'm going to show you around Legoland California and show you what's open and what's closed during a rainy day. This is actually something I've always thought about myself because I didn't know Legoland the majority of rides are out in the open. The shows obviously are out in the open. So what is exactly available for you to do if you decide to come on Legoland during a rainy day or if you happen to already be here? What you can expect to be open and closed. So we're gonna take a walk around, show you a little bit of everything and we'll try to make the best of it. So if you care to follow me on this rainy journey, let's go. So as a t at the time of the recording of this video, remember the walkway between Lego Movie World and the beginning is currently closed. Due to the fact that, due to the fact that they are creating Dino Valley, updating this area with a few more rides, but here in Lego Movie World, where we're going to start, we'll see that. So first off, Benny's spaceship that is closed, obviously for safety reasons. Build whatever you want to build is open, including most of the actual building lab areas. Those are always going to remain open for the most part because they're pretty much indoors. The awesome shop is open. Emmett's Super Suite is open for character meet and greets. And Everything is Ramen was open earlier when I first came here, but they just recently closed. And I think that's going to be a case of just due to uh, hours and trying to cut back on hours and save money here at the park. Because obviously it's a slow dead day with the rain. So they just closed, but it was open. Things like Benny's Dance Party, that unfortunately will be, will be not performing today because they would be performing right here in front of Emmett's Super Suite, but obviously for safety reasons, they don't want the performers to fall down. As well as here inside Emmett's Super Suite for the meet and greet, there is the Lego Movie 2 experience, which is just to the left entrance, right over there. The water sprinklers are open. <laughs> A little splash pad. As to why it's open, I don't know, but I guess you're already wet. Might as well go through it. Not sure if it was open earlier, but Cloud Cuckoo's Crepes is closed at the moment. Emmett's Flying Adventure is open. That's because even though the queue, half of it's outside, the ride portion is inside the showroom. Unit Kitty's Disco Drop is closed. And then Queen Whatever's Carousel is open. So why am I creating this video? Well, originally I was here to record for Ninjago Weekend. But when I got here, the park was under some foul weather and obviously for safety reasons for both guests and for actors, dancers, all the model citizens, they need to close. So not the park itself, but the shows, performances, any really of the outdoor activities for the most part are closed down. So, but I figured nobody really knows what is and what isn't open in Legoland when it comes to rainy days like this. At Disneyland, of course, you know which rides because a lot of those rides are in showrooms. So, you know, the queue may be outside, but once you're inside, it's fine. You're nice and dry, ready to go. But here at Legoland, a vast majority of their rides are all outside. So I figured great opportunity for me to make lemonade out of lemons and show you a video on what is and isn't open when it comes to a rainy day here at Legoland. Now we're going into the Duplo little kids area. Let's see what is open. Duplo Playtown as it's called. I never really go up there as much. Technically, the little play areas are open, but it's one of those play at your own risk, obviously. But the Kid Tower is open. I'm actually a little surprised by that, to be honest. But it's open. The, the train is not going, so that is closed. Hit that black button in the middle, and I'll come around Making way over to Fun Town. Both driving schools, the junior one and the big kid one, is open. I'm actually very surprised by that one because I thought for safety's sake they wouldn't want kids on the slippery slippery ground. But they got it's open over there. The burger stop is open. Sky Patrol Copter Ride is closed. The sign right here, Lego Movie World Detour, because the Dino Valley is under construction, you can transition from the front to Lego Movie World. So this is kind of the transitional crossing right here. You can either go this way, avoid Fun Town and go through Mini Lane USA to head towards the front and the exit. Or of course, go the long way around through Fun Town, which we're gonna do because we gotta see what else is open or closed. 
Fun Towns Urban Kitchen is open for meals, as well as the Rebuild the World Plain of Legoland. The building area right over there is open. The fire rescue ride, that is closed. And of course, we are here during the 25th birthday of Legoland California Resort. So excited. They got some big plans up this year, including a parade, obviously the Dino Valley area, new characters. Very excited for the celebration. We'll definitely report on everything that's going on throughout the year. Hey, muchachos, do you know it's raining out here? Come on. You gotta be careful. Your instruments are gonna get rusted. Okay, cuidado, okay? Be careful. How you doing, Mr. Gold? Uh, of course, the water park is closed till I think, I believe March, what is it, 16th or 18th? I'll put the date here. That's the actual opening date. So, of course, I will be there for opening day. And then I'll show you my video of what is open and what to expect at Legoland and maybe even Chima Water Park when it opens. The factory tour, is the factory tour open? The factory tour is indeed open. Good to know. Adventures Club, that experience is open. Obviously, most of the retail shops are pretty much open. Bricks Brothers is. The RC Trucks, this of course is a paid experience where you get to operate remote control vehicles. That is closed at the moment. And they put the covers over the radio control aspects of it. The Skipper School is ironically open as well too. I've seen people go on the ride. Obviously, uh, ride at your own risk when it comes to the ones that are open. Of course, you're allowed to bring your ponchos, jackets, umbrellas inside the park, but obviously can't have them out when it comes to a ride. So you have to store them properly if you do decide to ride any of the vehicles. Okay, so let's check it out in the Pirates area. Splash Battle is currently closed, as well as Pirate Reef. Again, the low water sprinklers, those are open for you to enjoy. And Captain Cranky's Challenge was closed as well today too. Bird Kitchen will be closed today, so they may not have opened today, probably in anticipation of it being a slower day. The games themselves are open during the rainy day. Of course, those are a paid separate attraction. And ironically enough, Churros con Chocolate is open. <laughs> Probably like the one thing I've yet to have here at Legoland because it's never, ever open when I want it to be. Obviously, Miniland USA is open for you to view. Um, no need to worry about that. It's obviously exposed in the rain. But we're going to turn left here, head towards Castle Hill. Uh, Deep Sea Adventure is currently open. Always a good ride to do. And looks like the line is non-existent at the moment. Currently right now, at the time of shooting this video, it's about 1.30, give or take. So I've been here for about an hour and a half already, and the rain's been here since pretty much about 12. Those who are willing to brave it are still here, but the vast majority of the people were leaving as I was pretty much entering the park. The dive shop is open, and Granny's Apple Fries is closed, but I don't think it's weather related. I believe they're doing some upgrades, some construction on it, based upon the plastic I'm seeing. This particular snack treat uh, station is closed as well as the hideaways, that is closed, but that is because of safety reasons. Lots of places for kids to fall and hurt themselves, don't want that. Both of these games here on Castle Hill are open, the basketball shoot and the little pick a fish one. And I had this earlier for lunch. Happy to report that the Night Smokehouse Barbecue is indeed open. That uh, particular little attraction is closed, the games, whatever that was, I forget what that is. I think you ride like a horse around. It's kind of like the R remote controls again. Don't know what King's Treasure was. I think that might have been a game. Not 100% sure, but that is closed. The nice joust is closed. Now, it might be having to do with more with like the electronics and anything else. This one I thought maybe it would be open because if the skipper school is open, this one would be open. But alas, tis be closed. Of course, here on the Castle Hill stage, there is no performances happening today. Castle Ice Cream was indeed open. I had a delicious peppermint shake a little bit earlier. I'm gonna put a picture on it here. It was very delicious. It looked like Pepto-Bismol, but it was very delicious. And it was one of the seasonal shakes that they have here. The store right outside the exit to the Dragon Coaster is open. And I believe this game is open, but nobody's there at the very moment. And in some of these 
of the face characters and where they write your name in fancy ways. Some of them have been open, some of them have been closed. Face painting is closed. And of course, my favorite ride, the dragon, is closed. Now, it it'd be funny if it was open halfway through and then it let you out before it actually hits the roller coaster. But alas, no, closed. Chicken and Crown was open. Looks like they're just closing down now for the moment, but it was open earlier today. Heading our way now down the hill to the adventure area. See what's open. Oh, I can already see a few rides open here from this level. Let's take a look here and see what's open again. Looks like the games are open. Obviously, if you're gonna win a prize, don't get the ones that are out in the rain. Get a nice dry one. The dunes graders are closed. Oh no, my ass is getting wet in the rain. Oh, now I have to dry it off. This particular snack station is closed. And like I said, I do think the majority of them is actually just due to staffing because now we are technically in the dead season of Legoland. You really won't see crowds being picked up until a little bit closer to spring break time. So the beetle jump is open. Cool, so it's still working. This one right here, what was this one called again? I forget, what was this? Something Cargo Flyers, Cargo Aces, yeah. That one is closed. And Kingdom Adventure is open. And it makes sense, because the ride itself is inside. Pharaoh's Revenge is technically open all, but you see it does have a coverage up there, so it does keep some of the rain off of you. Project X Technic Coaster is closed. This actually would be a fun ride to hit on the rain. Throw another element of scare and surprise in there. The Pizza and Pasta Buffet is open. It smells delicious too. I need to, I think one day I'll, maybe on a, a future visit soon, I'll do a food review here at this Pizza and uh, Pasta Buffet. Never eaten here before, so might be worth giving it a try. What was this one? Bionicle Blasters? Yeah, Bionicle Blasters. That ride is closed. And the Ninjago Training Camp. Let's see. Oh, look, I just realized they did put full-size characters, Lego characters, right up there on the top since the last time I've been here. Maybe that was for Ninjago, or maybe it's been there for a while. The, uh... But it looks like the training camp itself is closed. Yes, you cannot get inside. Face painting over here is closed. Now, this is an interesting one. So technically, this is where the taiko drummers would be for the Ninjago weekend, including one of the character meet and greets. But because of the rain here, they're playing live performances of the taiko drums inside the 4D theater. So they're still happening. Uh, this obviously is not the norm. The uh, pizza right over here is open pizza mania. And the dreams area, the dream building. Like I said, this area, the imagination zone, the majority of things here are open. Dreams is open. The Ferrari building race is open. Over here earlier was some character meet and greets. They might be gone already for the day. We'll see. Now it was in front of Mindstorms where they were at. Space, City Space is open still. And yes, here it is. So the, our friends are gone at the moment. But when it rained, you can see they had a Meet a Ninja sign right there. Earlier I saw, what's his name? Ryan, one of the new guys from the New Ninjago. I'm not a big fan of the new series. And then one of the, I think Naya or Lloyd was there as well too. Um, but normally they'd be meeting in Ninjago world, but because of the rain, they had to put them in here to keep them nice and dry. Now, I, I truly hope that this video is informative for you, uh, because to be honest, I know it is for me just being here, today, like I said, turning lemonade out of lemons, because I never really knew what was close here. I know that uh, Legoland has a, what is it called, sunny day guarantee or whatever, or rainy day guarantee, in which if you're here, if you bought a single day ticket, that they give you a ticket to come back within, I think, like 20, 14 or 28 days something like that. I'll put more information here on the screen But you know if you're still here and don't want to necessarily leave What is there for you to do? You know, uh, is it even worth coming here during a rainy day? Heading into Ninjago world We'll be able to see that What is going on here? Oh some nice banners obviously for Ninjago weekends the ninja kitchen right over here is open Which is never open usually most of the time, but it is open now so that's great. Obviously in Ninjago the ride is open. The little activities that you can do here just is like, what is that, Kai Spinners? Uh, they got, what is that, Lloyd's Lightning or whatever. 
Oh, I forget who that guy is. Um, those are open for you to use. Wu's warehouse is open. Uh, but yeah, obviously the meeting greets have been removed from this area and moved over to the uh, area inside the imagination zone. Doesn't necessarily apply to all rainy days, but right now for Ninjago weekends, they got the scavenger hunt going on. That is technically still available because you know you just walk around the park and find the what they are. They're looking for the dragon orbs, and that's going to be part of the scavenger hunt right there. That's what you're going to be looking for. Walking a little bit more into the heart of Mainland USA. Again, Mainland USA itself is open, available pretty much rain or shine, sleet, snow, hail, whatever the case may be. Just be careful in the pathways. Lots of puddles and slipperiness. And the stage uh, where they do performances, I mean, not right now. They're doing the Ninjago weekends, but the, the stage is obviously closed for the performers, as well as just look at the lawn. It's getting flooded right now at this moment. No, you don't want to sit or stand on that. Making our way back over to the beginning, we got the big shop. Big shop, of course, is open. Oh, I forgot to mention it because we didn't pass by, but of course the coast, cr the cruise is closed at the moment. Actually, I don't think it ever opened at all period today, so. The stage over there, the beginning stage, that is closed. I mean, technically it's open, but the stage itself is not going to have any performances. Also, some new Lego builds have been here in recent time. Some sort of mad scientist. Love the colors on it. Obviously, going to be part of Legoland's 25th anniversary. And the centerpiece right here is this very large birthday cake that has a little bit of the whole park in there. I see. Let's, let's take a closer look. Coastersaurus. That's going to be the new Dino uh, River Ride right there. Duplo, the big shop, of course. The Christmas tree from the holidays. Skipper School. I see, oh, there's the games right there. Captain Cranky's Challenge. The Duplo Tower. Ninjago World, the ride. Of course, that's a good representation of Mainland USA right there. Oh, my favorite ride, of course, the Dragon. Oh, there's the reef. Sea Life Aquarium is also represented. Very nice. Castle Hill. Oh, no, those are the two hotels right there. Okay, Castle Hotel and the Lego Hotel. The fireworks, of course, during New Year's and 4th of July. Oh, Uniki Disco Drop. That's great. And the water park and the adventures ride. That is pretty nifty how they, small representation of some of our favorite rides here. That is a pretty cool job. Right now, the walkway between the beginning and Lego Movie World is currently closed. So you gotta go the long way around, as well as revert back when you wanna exit. Oh look, they got little peak holes. That's cool. One tiny, one teeny tiny little peak won't hurt anyone. Let's take a look here. Oh, I see, look at that. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it shows kind of little small representations of what's gonna be in this area. And here towards the beginning, the market of course is open. Pick up a nice hot toasty beverage for you. Keep yourself nice and warm. Ice cream shop that's over here is open as well too. The minifigure market is open as well too. And of course rentals if you need strollers, wheelchairs and lockers are open as well. As well as guest services, which we're gonna go check it out because I wanna get more information for you about the uh, rainy day guarantee. I did find out a couple things. One is, so it's the uh, rainy day promise so if on a day like today, where obviously the rain is terrible and the majority of things are closed or not happening, you actually have up to a year from the date of the actual day it occurred, the rainy day, to come back. All you gotta do is come back into the park, go to guest services, check in with them, and they'll print you out a new ticket for that day in which you return, um, knowing that you're back here for a rainy day promise, it's called. Uh, only stipulation really being is you gotta go through guest services, and two is, parking-wise, there's no reimbursement or return on the parking. Whatever parking that you did pay when you came here the first time, you have to repay again, so. But that's not too bad. You know, in a way, it's, it's good on Legoland for doing something like that to make sure that the day that you have, your vacation that you plan, is enjoyable. Again, this doesn't account for people who have passes that are available all year round because obviously you get to come back anytime. It's for people who bought individual or multi-day tickets, you know, those are the ones who are gonna get this promise. Bef before we leave, I guess we ended up getting some sort of reprieve. They're still gonna do the whip around dance party. They're just right. doing the DJ. You're welcome to join my dance party. You might slip, but that's part of the fun. Sure, you, you certainly will, Legoland. 
hopefully it'll be nice and sunny that day. Well, I guess there was a silver lining to that cloud and we did what we could with this rainy day here. And you know, I was able to show you everything that is open and or closed during a rainy day here at Legoland, California. So if you did enjoy this video, do me a huge favor, give it a big thumbs up for me. Second, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And third, hit the notification bell. Also, make sure to follow me on social media at Big Red Journeys on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram for even more information. We'll be back here very shortly because we're going to come back for Ninjago weekend. And of course, everything that's with the 25th anniversary and all the exciting news that's coming to this theme park. So for me to you, thank you. And then I'll see you on the next journey. Bye-bye now.